Our attendee, Christopher, would like to hear more about exercise to help manage balance issues, um, which is one of his biggest barriers. So what, what kind of exercises would you encourage him to do? Yes, no, excellent question again. These are great questions, um, everybody. Um, they're right on point and a lot. We re I receive them a lot from my patients on a daily basis um, that I see in the clinic. The core muscle strengthening is essential for balance. Um, and I'm sure Christopher and Kathy can give in specific exercises that they use um, from their clinics as well. But from what I see in my patients, the stronger the core, so the tighter your tummy muscles, and we all have those tummy muscles, we always have to find them, but the stronger your core, you're able to then compensate appropriately for if you turn quickly, or if all of a sudden you have a shuffled foot and it catches a little bit. So that core will help you engage in that. Um, if you're pretty flexible, um, what I would encourage you to do is to get on the ground, okay? And start off with a, just a few seconds of a plank. Um, I would YouTube it and start off on your knees. And I really encourage form. So you're not, your back's not bending too much and you're not necessarily straining your neck. But if you're, you can get on the ground, that'd be very beneficial. And then actually a few push-ups. It doesn't have to be many, maybe one or two along those lines just to keep that core engaged. If getting on the ground is challenging, but you want a trial, I ask you to put a chair without wheels so that you can crawl over to it and then crawl up after you get onto it because that core is very important and doing more core exercises will only benefit you for the balance. I also encourage patients to stand at their um, kitchen table if it's high enough or maybe their countertops and hold on initially and try to stand on one foot, okay? If you have difficulty standing on one foot, then I encourage you to mark and put your feet as wide as you feel comfortable. So the, the further your legs are wide, then the more stable. So as you get wide and then you come to come in each time, then you're gonna get more stable. And once you get your feet together and you can stand like that, engaging the core. So while you do all of this, you're gonna tighten the tummy, tighten your bottom, so that you're really engaging all those muscles that help with balance. Um, and then as you master getting closer and closer and closer together, and this is over weeks, this isn't such something you do every day in terms of jumping straight up to one leg, you might do six inches apart for the first week. Next week you might do five inches, next week you do four, with a goal of trying to stand on one leg. Um, and by all means, I think physical therapy is essential to, um, to just strengthen your core and they can teach you balance exercises. Um, if you're sitting all day at home on virtual trainings or you're teleworking from home now, sitting on a ball is such a beneficial um, exercise. Uh, it really engages the core, keeps you rocking back and forth, but it also keeps that, keeps that balance going. So I also make that recommendation. And one last thing before I turn it over to Kathy and Christopher for extra suggestions is if you're sitting at your chair, don't sit back, don't hunch too much, okay? Truly sit at the edge of your chair and I want you to put your feet flat and I want you to tighten that tummy. Tight, 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 squeeze the buttocks. But big thing is you have to breathe. If you don't breathe, you're gonna potentially pass out and that defeats all our purposes. So really sit at the edge of your chair Deep, uh, take, tighten your tummy, tight, 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 for about five seconds, relax. Tight, 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 five seconds, relax. And if you do that throughout the day, you're engaging those core muscles and you're not necessarily going outside and doing more exercises, but you're doing it throughout the day and it really will tweak that eventually to improving your core. Um, so I'm gonna defer to Kathy and Christopher for specific exercises um, outside of what you can do on a daily basis. Uh, thank you, Lisa. I actually want to touch on what you spoke about standing at the table, holding on um, with one leg. So uh, I want to, to, to piggyback off of that with you should create kind of this proprioceptive environment. So you want to know where your body is in space, right, to really challenge your balance system. So even from there, when you're holding on, you know, with one leg, um, you could even stand on a flat surface. You can stand on an uneven surface. Um, you can stand on the foam pads. Again, this, this can all be done with your physical therapist. Um, but again, like I said, creating that environment that challenges your body to self-correct or auto-correct, you know, and, and realize where it is in space. Um, and again, you know, you can do exercises with eyes closed, one eye open, um, and just really, really challenge yourself. But really, like I said, creating that proprioceptive environment and, and really using your physical therapist and then help them to train you um, and improve your balance. <clears throat> I love all of this. I have to say like this, this discussion, I feel like is really rich with lots of options. And that's, that's a really important message because I think 
So many of my patients will say, well, I don't really know what to do, so I don't do anything. But so many things are kind of practical and, and you can, these little things can add up. So I really encourage you to do these little exercises that we're describing. I even um, would encourage you to, you know, when you tighten, like um, Lisa was saying, you know, oftentimes you're tightening also your pelvic floor muscles, which which is uh, is a you know something that many of us really need to work on. But it but it you want to tighten it, but still be able to talk so that no one can tell you're tightening your muscles, but you're still doing it, and that sort of forces you to breathe, which is I think what Lisa was trying to get at too. But there are just so many things I think we can do in our environment. But what's hard is making it a habit. So I would really encourage you to you know, do it at the same time of day or, um, you know, in between, if you can take a break at work, even just for five or 10 minutes, but do it consistently, because that's when I think you'll see the benefits.